YouTube, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy 247, one half, Exotic Frenchie Boutique. I'm back in the building, baby. And actually, I'm in the garage, but shit, let's, let's get it. All right, so this video, this video, I got some good news for this video. Um, and then it's just going to be a normal vlog. Y'all know how we do over here at Exotic Frenchie Boutique. Early in the morning, about to get cleaned up. Already fed the already fed the dog, so we about to get some cleaning up going on in here. I've been gone for like I've been gone for like uh four days. Was down in Miami turning it up. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm back at the ranch. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, yeah, man, cleanliness. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Something like that. But, man, keep your doors clean, man. Keep where they live clean, man. You don't want to be... Look, Zara Frenchy Boutique, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, man, across all platforms, man. We are back in the building. So, uh, let me let me finish getting to this. I'm about to mop, and then I'm going to let the dogs out. They already ate. So... <sighs> Alright, so let these floors be looking clean. I'm gonna just show y'all what I sweep up. Now I normally try to do this like not not try. I do this once a day for sure. Two I try to hit the mop twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, but that don't always work. But I always hit it in the morning time. You know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what I'm talking about. See, even right, even right here, you barely can see it. But boy, look at all that dirt and dust and hair from Bruce. So yeah, man. And of course, we got the spin mop straight from Walmart. All right, so once I get the floors done, I let them drains dry, right? Then I come back and I take this spray and then I just hit it one more, one more again. One more again, you know what I'm saying? Even though I guess I could put this in the water, um, I don't. <laughs> And this is just pet, young. I guess I don't really need this because it don't smell like pee in here, but it got enzyme action. So we using it for this part. <laughs> and this the other thing. The only thing that's in my mop water is warm water, alcohol, and a little bit of dish soap. And I feel that that does the job. It keeps it nice and fresh down here. And then I would assume that the alcohol kills the germs. But uh, that's just my theory. That's why I put it in there. I don't know. But it be smelling fresh and clean down this bitch. But yeah, let me get back to y'all. Everybody on a smoothie break right now. Even me, we drinking the same thing. They love it though. But I'm about to finish. I'm about to get they get they couch clean. I got my scrubbing it down. Then I'm gonna steam it real quick. I normally do this once a week, but since I'm out here cleaning right now, I might as well knock it out now. And yeah, so let's get it. All right, y'all, so we got all the cleaning done. The pups chilling, they ate, they had their little smoothies. So, you know, we, we good, they chilling right now. Big Bruce. But look, this the good news. I guess you can call it good news, but look, Tsunami, come here. 
So I got off the plane last night and Tsunami had a, her first signs of blood uh, for her heat. So you know what that means. It's about go time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that yesterday was the actual first signs of blood only because while we were going to the sitter, my son didn't tell us that he saw any blood. So I'm imagining that what I saw last night was the first signs of blood. Um, so, you know, you see, we got her diaper on her, her diapers on. And that's really just so she don't be getting blood everywhere. They be in the house a lot, in the actual house. Big Bruce, they be in the house a lot. So we don't want blood just tracked everywhere. So what we do is, um, of course you got the washable, the washable pee pads on, let me show you. They, they all washable, but I mean, you'd be washing them four, five times a day, unless you had like 20 of them, which this is the brand. Uh, Pet Parents, I believe we got them off Amazon, but um, I just don't want to keep on washing these. I, I'd rather just wash, we got like four or five of them. I'd rather just wash them all at once in the normal weekly cycle wash for the pups for the dogs but what i do though is is i cut up pee pads i cut up pee pads you know the these what taco still uses by the way taco is potty trained um but taco get in here these the regular pee pads you lay down i just cut them up to size and then that way you know, I'm able to slip it inside the, the joint just like a little panty liner, you know what I'm saying? And as you can see, so then that way when I take it off, all I really gotta do is replace the liner because blood's not on the, the pamper. If it is on the pamper, then I gotta get a whole new pamper, wash that one. But nine times out of 10 when I use these, um, yeah, there's no, there's no blood on the, on, the, on the actual pamper. So, you know what I'm saying? I used to use like, paper towels and shit, but I was like, shit, I might as well use pee pads. They're probably more absorbent and less messy, you know what I'm saying? So it don't be all on her skin and all over. But so that that is the good news, I think, because she's in heat, which means pups are coming. Um, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? We about to go up again, man. But look, this is what I want to ask y'all though. So I've been doing a lot of research on back-to-back -back breeding and skipping heats, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence about skipping the heat only because I've seen a lot of articles and a lot of like uh I don't know literature just about skipping heat how it could be harmful for your for your dog your female bitch how it could be harmful for them how it could cause cancer in the long run how it could prevent their uh their their skin from you know, the nipples and shit from going back and, and being nice and tight and all of that. So they say if you skip a heat, you, you run risk of cancer causing issues, um, the skin not really coming back tight. And just I guess it's just not as healthy as it is for a dog to skip a heat than it is for them to not skip a heat. I really don't know. But from my research, I'm going to go with back to back. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop down in the comments what you think about breeding back to back or what you think about skipping heat. What, what, what's the pros and cons? Because like I always tell y'all, I'm learning, you learning, we learning together. So you know what I'm saying? Still starping still. So I teach y'all, y'all teach me, vice versa. We get it popping. But um, come here, Tsunami. Let me see. But as you see, her scar, her nipples, everything came back nice and tight. That, that's what the incision, incision was. It's nice and smooth, it's nice and tight. The doctor did a really good job. Um, so of course, look at these guys. So, thank you, Tsunami. So of course, um, before I even do breed her, I'm going to breed her again. I'm going to take her to the vet, have her checked out, and make sure that she is good to breed again. And there won't be no crazy health issues or medical conditions that I'll be putting her at risk of with breeding back to back. But, so, that's the good news. So, pups on the way. We already got one, we already got one reservation for first pick. So, look, man, if you wanna lock in on one of these pups, you know what I'm saying, hit me up. Hit me on Instagram, hit me on YouTube. Hit, call me, text me, 540-243-6069. If you wanna lock in on any of these pups, um, I'm most likely gonna run her back to Slater 
the fluffy stud. Um, that's like a ninety. That's like a ninety percent chance I'm going to do that. I'm. I still got Bruce in my in my in my in my selection um, for a couple reasons. I, I won't have to pay for a stud fee. It will be in house. Um, I will get to see what Bruce produces. But I kind of wanted to use another fluffy female that I, that my partner has, with Compound Kennels, with Bruce. I wanted to get Bruce proven with her with a full fluffy, since he's a full fluffy. Um, so I don't know. Mm. I don't know. So we, we I don't know what y'all think. What y'all think? Go with Bruce. I know I asked y'all this before. Should I go with Bruce? Or should I, should I stick with the formula that worked and is proven and go with my boy uh, Slater the Fluffy Merle? Here's the pups right here just chilling. But yeah, so that's the good news, man. I, if you got litters on the ground, congratulations. Man, if you got puppies, hope you take care. Take hope you take care. I hope you are taking care of them damn dogs. There we go. Um Yeah, man, we just chilling, man. It's a nice day. We out in the garage and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably take them to the park, let them play, let them run around, get it in. Oh, I am still gonna do. My give. I'm, I'm probably really just going to pick one of my subscribers that always show me love and just get do my giveaway for them. But we are at 1,000 subscribers, 1,100 plus. So, you know what I'm saying? Page is going up. Doo -doo. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. It's Rider Frenchie Boutique. Um, um, man, what else is going on? Um, that's really it, though. You know what I'm saying? We just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this stuff. It is something. So I got the opportunity to um, purchase this fluffy female. She's a fluff, full fluffy. I think she's like a blue Merle. She carried 10 points. I'm gonna try to drop a picture. I'm gonna try to drop a picture right here or there or somewhere in here. But um, really good deal. I, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know if I should take on another dog. If I should just keep one of the pups from this litter, um, but this fluffy, she's really fire. I really like her. Um, she's out of Texas. Um, I think the I think the kennel name is Incredible Bulls or Incredible Texas, something like that. But she's pretty fire. Um, so I'm really considering. I'm really considering, man. If I should buy this, if I should buy this pup, add her to the program, then I'll have another bitch. I got three bitches, one stud, and. Yeah, but I'm, I don't know. I'm debating. She's ready in a couple days, so I don't got much time to debate. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm quite sure she's going to be taken. But, so yeah, so that's that's the news over here at Exotic Frenchie Boutique. Um, I'm, I, I, hopefully, I dropped the picture in here so y'all can see her. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If I should copper or if I should not copper. Copper drop. Drop a cop. You know what I'm saying? And really, it's just because I know it's a good deal on her. And she's actually fire. She's nice and short, stocky, nice legs. Bruce, what is you doing, my boy? Bruce. Bruce don't know how to play. He's so, he is so, uh... <laughs> he smells tsunami, I'm imagining. Bruce, no, Bruce. These two is like identical twins. She just like her mama. Bruce found him a spot over here to chill out. Taco. Taco. But, um, yeah, man. So, yeah, man, that's really it, man. We got Tsunami and Heat. And then we got possibly another puppy purchase. I just, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause we trying to turn up in 2023, man. And it's not even, it's, I actually like this dog. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not, I can't even say I'll be taking a shortcut cause it's a, it's a straight up puppy. So, you know, I'd still be waiting the whole year, raising it up, doing all that good stuff. So, yeah, man, I don't know, man. But anyways, y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. It's our Frenchie Boutique. Till next time. Uh, I'm going to be dropping more content now since I am at a thousand subscribers and I do get monetized. I will be dropping more content. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all stay tuned, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know the vibes, man. Take care of them damn dogs. One love. Peace. It's our French Boutique. I'm out, baby.